Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Uh, it's been a while, but uh, finally I'm uh, back in generating some more videos regarding um, or for NAV 2017. And uh, one thing that I uh, just noticed that I have not covered uh, is uh, the jobs. Um, NAV has a job module that is quite good. And uh, what I wanted to do is just give you a little intro on how you could use jobs. Um, oftentimes, even if a company is not particularly like, or their business model is not around jobs, uh, they can use jobs for various things inside the company, such as uh, marketing campaigns or um, product development or something like that. Um, but what I'm going to do, since we are uh, in the coffee mug business and coffee in general, um, we are going to uh, set up a trade show. Uh, basically, we're servicing the coffee at a trade show. And that requires a few steps, and we want to track that as a job. And so I'm going to just go ahead and create that quickly. Uh, if I go here into Jobs, and uh, go ahead and hit New, I get this job card. Uh, if I just hit Enter, it gives me a, a number in a sequence. And I'm going to call this job Trade Show Coffee service. We are going to build to, let me see, I think I have here a global trade shows customer. Our contact is Tom Selleck. <laughs> um, and so it fills out everything here. Now what's really nice, and this has been improved in 2017, uh, versus the old versions, is we have here the task lines for the job. So I'm going to start typing in the task lines. Now these task lines can be copied from another job. So if you're doing something again and again and again, you just have a job that you copy from and then you get all the task lines in. So we're going to just do here um, uh, prep for coffee service. That is one. And the next one is, let me see, 20. Uh, and that is going to be a service, coffee service. And it's just one day trade show. So we have coffee service for one day. And then uh, we're actually going to create one task here just called billing. And that is to build for the coffee service. So it's pretty simple. We're going to have a task where we're prepping for the coffee service. That is just putting things together uh, and getting the uh, ingredients that we're missing. And then we're going to have the coffee service. Uh, and then we're going to build for this. Now I'm going to simplify this uh, a bit. Basically, each of the tasks uh, requires a job planning line. Now the planning lines are telling us what we need for the task. So what items or resources or even GL accounts. Um, so if I go into the job planning line here, I get the list of job planning lines and I'm going to pick the task number 10, which is the prep. Uh, now I get a line type. What that means is if it's a budget item, that means we're going to budget the cost for that. If it's a billable item, that means that we are going to bill this particular item. And if it's budget and billable, that's sort of like time and material, where you actually budget for that cost, but you're also going to bill that cost to the customer. Uh, in this scenario, we're just going to do uh, simple budget lines and then a final billable line. So I'm going to go ahead and just do that here. Um, so that we're prepping, we actually need an item and I'm going to look for a particular item. Actually, we have something called French roast coffee. 
coffee beans. So that's the only thing we need. Uh, and this is in pounds, and we're going to need 35 pounds. It's telling me I don't have it. That's okay. Now, for job task number 20, the coffee service, we're going to need a person who is going to be handing out the coffee. It's going to be Linda. And she's going to work eight hours. Okay. And then finally, for task number 30, uh, we are going to bill this. And actually, I'm you're going to use a GL account here. And so we have job sales. And that's just a one time fee. And for this service, we're going to bill uh, $800. Oops, that's not in cost, it's in price. $800. And that's it. So now if I hit OK, you can see here on the side that we have budgeted cost of $217. And our billable price is $800. So it, it is accruing the costs on the side here. That's really nice. Uh, the actual cost is nothing yet because we haven't incurred any cost and we haven't invoiced any price yet. Um, now we could go into actually putting a, a work in process and stuff like that. I'm not going to go there, but we do have to select a job posting group. I have one here called setting up um, and I'm just going to use that one. It's good to put in the starting date, so I'm going to put in the work date for this. Uh, and the ending date is going to be the day after, which is 1-26-2018. Short job. Okay, so now we've set up the job. It was pretty easy. What I want to do is show you how we can accumulate cost onto the job now. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to buy the coffee uh, beans, the French roast coffee beans, and automatically put them on the job right away. So. I'll close out this job. This was number 20. And I'll go into purchase orders right here. I'll create a new purchase order. And I'm going to buy from, I think I have some coffee vendors there, coffee supplies. Um, and we are going to get an item. And it's the French roast. Now this could be automatically generated as well. You can create automatically the purchase orders from the job um, through requisition worksheet. But in this case, I'm just buying it straight. Um, we're actually going to buy a little bit more. I'm going to buy 40 because we have good profit. Uh, this is pounds. And over here, you can see that there are job fields. Uh, so I am going to pick the, um, the job and then the task and that's going to be the prep um, and actually these job fields just to uh, let you guys know they are hidden um, so if you open up the system just f uh, in the beginning they are not visible you have to actually show them and it looks like I have one that I have not shown. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I go and choose columns. And there's a planning line number. And I'm just going to move that up here. Because we have to select not only the job and the task, but also the planning line. Uh, because otherwise the job does not know, or the, the NAV doesn't know where to put the cost. So here I have planning line number, and here is my French. It filters on the item, so I just get that. Uh, and then that's it. We'll leave it as that. I'll put in the invoice number, uh, which is going to be ABC3435. And then I post and receive an invoice. Uh, do you want to open the invoice? No, we're good with that. Okay, so now if I go into the job and I go into this one over here, you can see that the actual cost has gone up. 
So the budget cost and the actual cost is there. And if I drill into that, I can see my usage of the beans. Um, and so we can also do the same thing with resources. And I'm going to do go over that in another video. Uh, and then we can, of course, generate a sales invoice. Let me see. And let me just go ahead and show you how that would be done. Uh, we would then go into actions. And um, let's see. Actually, if I go out of here, create job sales invoice. And that would create a sales invoice for the job. I would have to select which job I'm doing it for. And then provide that. So um, that was all for the jobs. Uh, basically what we did, we created a job, we created a budget for the job, um, we consumed some items onto the job, uh, onto the, um, job itself, and created a sales invoice from the job. I hope you learned something. Thank you. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. As always, we welcome any questions or suggestions, um, so leave comments or, of course, if you can subscribe, that would be awesome. Uh, we are trying to build our fan base over here at Anacta. And uh, if you want to look for further information, please go to anacta.com.